Okay, you're kind of hungry. All you've eaten today is cake, but it's your birthday, so there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. However, this cake, off limits, please go feed the cow plant. We cannot be taking any chances anymore. I have made one too many errors. <sighs> Gerald is dead, and it's my fault, and now we're on our own. Welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge, everyone. This is episode 46, I think? If you missed last part, I'm gonna need you to go back, and I'm gonna need you to watch it, because we're having some big problems right now. And you know what? It's not my fault. It's this thing's fault. Whose idea was it to have a cow plant? Bad idea. Big mistake. Well, Cam's husband is dead. My kid's dad is dead. Gerald is gone. And at this point, I don't even know what to do. And it's also gonna be Terry's birthday. No wonder she's so terrible. Talk about child. Childhood trauma. Anyway, today we're gonna try and pick up the pieces after the loss of Gerald. Oh my god, oh my god, and my cat is attacking a stranger. That's a proper celebrity! Bubblegum, you can't just beat up- you can't just beat up the stars! <laughs> Why is there a celebrity in my house? That's a genuine question. Why- what are you doing here? Should I like attempt an introduction? Watch, she's gonna get snubbed. It's her birthday. Her dad died yesterday. Oh my god, don't scream. Don't scream. And this old lady- you came to my house! Ah! Why are you in my house? My dad's not even home. Oh no. <laughs> Do you know the romance festival is in town? Okay, now you're just mocking me, game. Now you're just teasing me. Well, anyway, the kids are home by themselves right now. It's a Saturday night. Gerald's got work until midnight. So maybe I'll have the girls go to the park. We don't get out much, so it might be nice. I probably shouldn't have had Cam go to work. Did I say Gerald was at work? Did I call Cam? Either way, I probably should have had Cam skip work, you know, given the fact that his husband died. <laughs> but I feel like I need the money. Now that it's just him, like, I, I feel like he needs to go into the office. But look at this. He's miserable. Oh, this is their aunt. Hey, maybe we should have Catherine, like, talk to her. I'm making the kids look for frogs because somebody's gotta earn money around here. <laughs> See, this is nice. Oh, Sam wants to invite me over. I guess that makes sense. Sam is their uncle, and he probably knows that their dad just died. Maybe I should go. Maybe that would be nice. We need to do better about hanging out with family. It's like their aunt saw them in the park and was like, oh, okay, maybe I should give Sam a house. <laughs> I've noticed that when Sims die, like, all their furniture goes away and the houses become unfurnished. This is a tiny house. I probably should have done better than this, but you know what? At least there's furniture in it. We can worry about specifics later. He lives next to the bowling alley, too. <laughs> okay, for some context, though, Sam is Cam's brother and Catherine's husband, the person we just saw at the park. So she definitely was like, Hey, Sam, the girls are at the park by themselves and they're crying and looking for frogs. Maybe you should invite them over. <laughs> I like that. I feel like that's realistic. <laughs> I want to try and do more talk like a pirate day stuff. Complain about fickle fortunes. Oh, okay, well that worked. Oh my god, and it's now thunderstorming. We just can't catch a break, can we? And their dad's not gonna be home for so long. Like, he gets home at midnight. Maybe I'll just go home anyway. They're fine. One of them's gonna be a teenager tomorrow. They can be home alone. Okay, do you want to come inside? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I feel so guilty about what I've done to these children. <laughs> Is there even any food at home? Yeah, there's some leftovers. I guess the kids can also order a delivery if we wanted to, but this one's really tired, so I might just let her go to sleep. It's been a rough night, okay? <laughs> oh, and you broke the toilet. See, I, what did I say? You can't catch a break. Oh, and something got struck by lightning. Make it stop. <laughs> I need to remember to play with the pets. I always, like, don't talk to the pets enough, and then they leave. And I, I really need to learn to be more careful. So I'm trying to do that now before I have my sim go to bed. You did not just get struck by lightning. Are you serious? I, I don't even know what to say at this point. Literally everything is going wrong. I heard it and I was like, that was that was the front yard. It's fine. Everything's fine. Of course, the second Cam gets home from work, he gets struck by lightning. Everyone's going to bed. Just use the bathroom. I guess you need to take a bath, don't you? You're not doing so good, are you? <laughs> maybe you maybe you should take a bath. And then in the morning, we will bake a cake for Terry. One step at a time. Everything's fine. Cow plant's hungry. Everything is not fine. Everything is not fine. Can you feed the cow plant? No, you're too young. Okay. Can you empty the trash from this? Yes, you can. Okay, well, the least you can do is help clean up a little bit. Okay, she cleaned up the trash. It is now officially Terry's birthday. I want to make sure that I- I want to make sure I wake up and like actually make her a cake before she ages up automatically because I would feel really bad if she got her birthday forgotten too. Oh, Tabitha, I get it. You're hungry. Oh my god. I cannot wait until my sims are older. I cannot wait until this is easier to take care of. Oh, I'm gonna sell the frogs we got. Actually, now that I think about it, you might have a scout badge you can collect. Yeah, that is a very successful childhood of scouting if you 
ask me. We didn't do any arts and crafts, barely any good deed, and no science, but we'll we'll work on those when she's a teenager. Okay, I'm gonna have Cam come bake us a cake. Maybe I'll throw a birthday party. Do you think I should? Oh, there's two festivals today. The flea market and the festival of youth are happening today. Maybe we could take her to the festival of youth instead. Although I guess maybe she wouldn't like it if she's gonna age up today. <laughs> ah, Cam's gonna be an elder on Friday? Oh no, oh no. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Okay, I'm gonna throw a birthday party. Birthday sim will be Terry. Maybe I'll just throw it right now, actually. You know what? It's 9 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Oh, Cam just mastered the cooking skill. Okay, that's actually a really big deal. I didn't even know he was close. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that's fun. All right, let's throw a birthday party. Terry's birthday. Tia, Tabitha, Cam, Sam, Catherine, Graham, Alan, <laughs> Lloyd. The whole family can come. We'll do it here. Okay, add me some birthday candles, please. I thought the cat was gonna eat the cake just then. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, they want to have Sims playing games at the same time. Should I buy like a card table or something? I mean, we've got space in the front yard. Oh, we do have a chess table. But yeah, what's the harm in some cards this fine Sunday morning? <laughs> Play cards with Catherine, Sam, and Graham, perhaps. Is your cousin here? Yeah, there we go. See, this will be nice. Oh, maybe I should have put up decorations. Everyday Eve decorations. Do you want to put up some like little papers or whatever? Little flags for her birthday? I don't even have any Eves. Does it, will it put, the roof got struck by lightning? <laughs> I just noticed this on the roof. Oh my God. Yeah, that must have been a bad storm last night if it struck the house. Oh, you are not doing that right now. You are not doing that right now. And no one even played games. He hates dancing, but he's dancing anyway. Do you know what? I, oh, she's hugging her uncle. Oh, that was Gerald's brother. That was really sweet. Okay, you can blow out your candles though. This is a priority of mine. I just want to get her aged up. We don't have much else going for us right now. So at the very least, <laughs> at the very least she can have her cake. Okay. Okay, we randomized the traits. She's already a kleptomaniac. Three, two, one. It didn't work. <laughs> okay, try again. Three, two, one. Slob. Slob and kleptomaniac. Right. <laughs> this is a really high quality error. I might get the chief of mischief aspiration because we need to have the mischief skill for our kleptomaniac stuff. Okay, actually she looks really pretty. I know she's like burping right now. So her mouth was open, but look, she's really pretty. We have reached the, the fifth generation. So the lack of chin is not surprising. That's not her fault. That's the Sims fault. For some reason, nobody has a chin. I might give her her old hair back. I really liked it. I thought it looked really cute on her. Oh my God, some of the clothing options. How about this? Wait, I like that. She looks cute. Okay, I think Terry looks really cute like this. Maybe she can like black and pink. Black, pink. <laughs> Maybe I'll have her like painting and mischief for now. Okay, I'm just doing the rest of her outfits now. I think she's really cool. I'm getting really excited. This is the next air. Like we're gonna play with this sim a lot. <laughs> That's fun. I've never used this combo before. I kind of like it. Why? Someone please tell me why sims always generate with this eyeball ring. Can someone give me one good reason? I might keep it. I like it. I think it looks good. Do you know what? She lives in Oasis Springs. She doesn't need this thick of a coat ever. <laughs> Do you know what? I really like her. I'm gonna put an updated version of them on the gallery right now for you in case you want to download them because I know that I don't think I've posted any of the kids yet. So they're up there. I know it's your birthday. Can you clean this up? No, I shouldn't make her do it. I should make her dad do it. <laughs> it's her birthday. You don't have to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You deserve to have at least one nice thing on your birthday here. Grab some cake. The other thing we need to do is put some teens in the town. I don't know who all is around, but we want to have some people our age that we could possibly like date, marry. We've been friends with this Marquise guy for a while. He aged up really well. Also, role's an option. This guy's related to us. We need to be careful. <laughs> Tabitha has the same name as my little sister. That's out. I like Nia. He doesn't like me for some reason. <laughs> Maybe I'll just meet these Sims just so we have a chance to like befriend some of them. Can I invite over Marquise right now? I want to see what his teenager trait is. Perform 10 mean or mischievous interactions. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> scout meeting for Terry starts in an hour. Oh yeah, she's got scouts at two. Let me end the party. We got a gold medal, that's all I care about. Oh, I don't like your outfit, bestie, I don't like it. Although he's really cute. <gasps> Wait, we may have just found our spouse. <laughs> we may have found our next generation spouse. Oh, sister hates children, that's not good. Lazy and squeamish, that's fine. He's very cute. He's wearing Batu clothes, that's not a good sign. But otherwise, we put him in this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I should give him real clothes. I'm kind of liking this. Doesn't matter. I don't, we can fix it later. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to date that person yet. You know, like I need to stop getting so far ahead of myself. I mean, now would be a good time to see if they at least get along still. I know that obviously they used to be friends, but that was a long time ago. Maybe I'll do a couple mischief interactions just to get a head start. Maybe impersonate mermaids. 
I feel like, why is he dazed? These are so different. Like, spread nasty rumor, tell urban legend. Those are, like, spread nasty rumor and impersonate mermaids are two very different things. Oh, it's Tabitha's birthday too. <gasps> I forgot. Oh no. <laughs> I forgot about the toddler. Oh god, here, I'll make you a cake too. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll age up Tabby now. I just sent away all the guests. I feel bad. Look, she's a toddler. She won't remember. She won't know. It's fine. Oh no, she just aged up on her own. Oh, and now I forgot her birthday. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's randomize her trait. Fingers crossed it's not a bad one. Creative, that's boring. Animal lover, kleptoman, fine, I'll put it back to creative. I'm sorry, I just, I was hoping for something a little bit dramatic. Oh, and now he's off to work. I'm sorry. She kept her hairstyle. I was gonna try and keep it anyway. I'm glad that she kept the same hairstyle. I love Tabitha. I think she's so pretty. Not sure about the boots with the dress, but that's okay. I'm just gonna give her some quick outfits for now. See, like, some of this stuff, the ones she's already wearing are kind of cute. There's something about, like, the game generating some, like, slightly mismatched clothes for, like, sleep and athletic wear that I kind of like. It feels realistic to me. Like, kids don't match all the time, you know? <laughs> oh, I kind of like that combo. Not sure about this combo either, Bestie, but that's okay. <laughs> I like Tabitha. Well, now I feel bad that I uploaded the Sims to the gallery when she was a toddler. <laughs> like, I kind of jumped the gun there a little bit. I don't want to spend too much time redoing bedrooms or anything, but I think I probably ought to upgrade a couple things here. Maybe I'll put... Oh, I don't know. What should I put in the corner of this room? I think I might keep the room kind of kid-like while she's an early teen. Because obviously she is still really young, you know? So it might be nice to still have some, like, kind of cutesy kid-like things in here. And then when she gets later in her teen years, we can kind of upgrade it to be a little bit, I don't know, more grown up. I'm really not sure what to do with this. It's a weird shaped room. I'm just gonna keep it. And then this room, we gotta get rid of the toddler bed. But otherwise, some of it could probably stay. Like, I could probably leave the bed like that. Oh, don't need a toddler potty anymore either, do I? <laughs> no more toddlers in this house. It's always kind of sad when all the kids start growing up. Like, it's fun to get started on the next generation, but it's also kind of sad. Like, everybody's getting old. Times are changing. I may have all the kids work on a school project. I feel kind of bad being like, okay, happy birthday, do some homework, but I don't know, happy birthday, do some homework. <laughs> Terry swiped an object at Scouts. What did you steal? Terry, you can't just steal things. But look, this one gives you the handsiness skill and like, oh, Gerald, text from our dead father about my kid's recent birthday. I was going to say that the thing that we're working on this project gives your Sims the handsiness skill, which is a very useful skill to have. Oh, Cam got a performance gain small and some extra money. Yeah, look at that. Okay. No, look how stinky this one is. I'm sorry, Tabitha. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. And we missed your birthday. These Sims really do not deserve to have to put up with me. Hey, you finished the rocket. Do you want to launch it? Hey. Oh, somewhat disappointing, but you did your best. That's all that matters. Here, grab a piece of cake. Hey, you finished yours too. Oh, now I feel bad for your little sibling. Okay, you're kind of hungry. All you've eaten today is cake, but it's your birthday, so there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. However, this cake, off limits, please go feed the cow plant. We cannot be taking any chances anymore. I have made one too many errors. Maybe we could do like a small painting too after dinner. You know what? Maybe you can stop. Maybe you can go take care of your needs too. I'm sorry. Here, use the bathroom. Take a shower. Do you think Cam might get promoted today? <gasps> yes! Oh, Oh my god, thank you. That's gonna be level seven. He needs to reach level eight of the culinary career to finish his aspiration. I would be happy if he achieved that. I would feel good about that because I've, I've done a really bad job making my sims happy recently. <laughs> um, so I would feel good if he could at least achieve one life goal, you know, before he dies. Okay, you kiddos are gonna have school in the morning, so I probably shouldn't have them stay up too late. Cam's unlocked the workaholic lifestyle. No, I don't support that. I don't support that. That's so annoying. The workaholic one is so frustrating because your sims will like, autonomously go to work off work hours. So he'll like wake up in the morning and be like, mm, I'm gonna go to the office. No, you're not. We also got a big bonus, some decorations. Yeah, look at these pot racks. I'm just gonna sell them. And that, and that. Oh, maybe I'll keep the knives. Actually, that could be cute in the kitchen. Yeah, I kind of like it. How do I get rid of the lifestyle? Do I go to like lifestyle coaching? Go to lifestyle coaching. Yeah, no, we're, I'm getting rid of that. I don't want to be a workaholic. I am not, what is happening to the cat? It's in the cabinet. Bubblegum, please come out of there. Are you okay? <laughs> okay, yeah, remove the workaholic one, please. Thank you. Let's go to bed. No, thank you. No, no, no. Do not want that. Okay, well, everyone's asleep. Finally, some peace and quiet. I think later this week, I'm gonna spend some time placing some new lots and some new townies 
families in the world. I've slowly been adding some, but I'm trying to like match the ages of the kids to my Sims. So if you want to make some Sims for me to put in this save, I'll just grab some off the gallery. I always look at the hashtag look Lil Simsy, and I kind of just grab them randomly whenever I need them. So if you just make some like today or or last week or whenever, I might just put them in my save. Don't feel like you have to, but if you if you like making Sims and you want to make me like some kids to be friends with Tia and them, that would be great. You can never have enough. <laughs> okay, it's your first day of high school. You need to get up and eat. Don't look, she's gonna autonomously eat the cake. That's not what I said. I said get leftovers, get leftovers. Oh my god, the Sims are glitching so much. Have you had this problem where your Sims like jump around? Okay, if anyone's gonna feed the cow plant, it needs to be you. And you can feed the piranhas too while you're at it. Oh, what are his new work hours? 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. That's really good. Oh, thank god. He's actually gonna be around when his kids are- <laughs> are at home now. He doesn't have weekends off, so that's a little bit annoying on the weekends, but we have a lot of vacation days, so maybe I could take vacation days on the weekends. Nothing wrong with that. We've got time. Oh, you are an hour late to your first day of school. That is not good. <laughs> no, I don't want to be a sitcom star rank five. I'm level seven in my career. Okay, I need to have Cam come make some food. We have a lot of cake, but not a lot of regular meals. <laughs> I need to make something that they can actually eat. Maybe like some- oh, blueberry pie? That's still dessert. That's okay. See? He's doing the weird teleporting thing. What just happened? Ah, the bills are 4,000 simoleons. Ooh, this is not good. Not good at all. Okay, he didn't have a chance to shower before work either. So that's not ideal. Just getting started. Play The Sims 4 for five hours. Oh, cause I made a new save file. I saved as when Gerald died so that I, I would be able to go back <laughs> to a previous save before Gerald was dead. So that's why, okay, that makes sense. Should Tia invite over classmate Alan? Yes, also Terry stole something from school. Who's Alan? Alan. Oh, my cousin Alan, the alien. Sorry, never mind. <laughs> That's really embarrassing, actually. I'm sorry. I thought, okay. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should end the video. Clearly, I'm not doing a good job. Oh, they all came home with school projects, too. That kind of sucks for you. I just made you do a school project, and now you have a new one. <laughs> Poor Tabitha hasn't even finished hers, and she's already got a new one, too. Well, time to get to work. It's raining outside. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna sell this painting. Oh, I should have her come pay the bills, too, before I forget. Donate gift to charity. Oh, that's nice. I'm not gonna do that, though. <laughs> I need to pay my bills. Get the mail too. Is that like presents for the kids? Yes. Okay, that's gonna pay for the bills pretty much. I mean, not exactly, but 880 simoleons is not bad. <laughs> that definitely helps. Okay, I think I'm just gonna make everyone keep working on school projects for now for a little bit. And at this point, I might end the episode for now. We've done pretty well. Cam's home from work. Maybe he can help them. Oh, nope. He's not doing good. Maybe he can watch TV first. Look, it keeps being like tense because he hates dancing, but you are autonomously dancing, Cam. You can hate dancing all you want. You can also just not dance if you don't want to. There's a really simple solution here, and it seems like it would save your, your problems. You're all stressed all the time from dance. Just don't dance. Okay, I, nothing that bad happened today. Although I suppose Cam did get struck by lightning, but he's fine now. It was short-lived. But our heir is now a teen, so that's a big moment. This is like the start of Gen 5 now, you know? That's kind of exciting. Anyway, on that note, I'm gonna end this part right here. I will link the playlist down below if you want to catch up on the past episodes. And stay tuned for next week, because who knows what's gonna happen. At this point, I'm expecting the worst. <laughs> I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I'm not even surprised by these things anymore. Oh, struck by lightning? Sure, of course. It's like the fifth time it's happened.